Yo, what's up guys, it's XO here and bring you guys a brand new video and today's video is going to be about a story. It's very funny, but there is a point where it gets serious and someone almost died. But keep in mind that he did not die and you guys can actually laugh about it and don't feel sorry for him because he's still alive and he's doing well. Alright, so let's get right into it. So I was at a party and it was a family party. I was a young kid and you know your family party, you know, especially if you're Hispanic or a black, I don't think white people do this. But <laughs> we, you have a bouncy house, right? And in the bouncy house, you have all the little kids just fucking around, you know, swarming to the sides, trying to flip it over, you know, wrestling, fighting and shit. And then you have those two kids that just run as fast as they can and push the thing as hard as they can to try to flip it over. And then, you know, you get stuck in the fucking edge and everybody's on top of you and you're punching everybody to get out because you can't breathe. And everybody's on top of you on the edge and everybody's trying to get out and they can't get out. And everybody's just moving their legs and it's, it's just pretty funny. But at the time that this happened, there was nobody else in the bouncy house. It was just me and my cousin. And we thought it was a fun idea to, you know, run as fast as we can and jump on the fucking edges and bounce back like a fucking ping pong. Well, we were doing this for a while. And then all of a sudden he jumped head first into the thing and he kind of got stuck. It was like one of those, like, you know, they had the four little pillars kind of things on the, all the edges. And, you know, those are the really bouncy ones, like the rubber ones where you, you know, you push it, it'll push you back because it's full of air. So he jumped head first right into it, if that's how it was, I really don't remember, it was a long time ago. But his head was stuck inside and his body was sticking out. So pretty much his head to like half his back was inside and then his legs were just kicking, like you know, he was sticking out and he looked really funny and at first we were all laughing, me and him we were laughing really hard. And he started kicking his legs and it looked even more funny. He was trying to get out so bad, but he couldn't get out. So that made it even more funny. We were just laughing. We were dying of laughter. And after like a minute or two, he's like, oh my God, Hector, get me out. And I'm like, nah, fam, this is too funny, man. You, you staying in there. Let me put this on Snapchat. You know, at the time there was no Snapchat. But you know how the saying goes, it's all fun and games until someone gets hurt. So he's stuck inside there. And honestly, there's not really a lot of room for him to breathe. So we were just laughing at first about two, three minutes. We were dying. He's kicking his feet. I'm like smacking him in the ass and shit, you know? And... <laughs> And then he's like, Hector, I can't breathe. And then I started laughing even harder. I know, I feel kind of fucked up for this. But he's like, Hector, I can't breathe. So we both started laughing a little bit harder. And he's like, I'm serious. And I started laughing even harder. And I'm on the floor rolling over, you know, laughing my fucking ass off. And this guy's like, can't breathe, help me. And I'm like, nah, a little bit longer, a little bit longer, man. It's too funny, it's too funny. And then I'm like, oh shit, maybe he actually can breathe. So I tried pulling him out. And you, you can just imagine his head and his fucking whole body's like stuck inside that shit and I'm pulling him by his legs, pulling him as hard as I can and I couldn't get him out. Either he was too big or he was just really fucking stuck. Now that I look at this, this is like a life alert commercial right here. This could be a perfect life alert commercial. It's like, help, I have fallen and I can't get up. Okay, but after a few tries of me pulling him by his legs, you know, as hard as I can, I'm like, you know what? Maybe if I lift up the fucking bouncy house, you know, the part that he was stuck on, maybe he can, you know, squirm his way out of there. So I tried that, but it was kind of tall for me to, you know, I can't really reach, and when I do reach, it's not enough for me to pull it all the way up. But then I'm like, shit, like, I can't help you. He's like, try again, and then he's like, try harder, and I'm like, I can't help you. You're stuck, motherfucker, you're stuck. And then I had to go run for help, and I'm like telling my like one of my older friends, I ran over to him and I'm like, he's gonna die, he's gonna die, help me, help me. And he's like, what will happen? I'm like, he's stuck, he's fucking stuck, help. And he's like just walking, taking his sweet ass time. And when he finally gets there, he sees him like, he's like crying his ass off. He's like, I'm gonna die, help me. And then, <laughs> and then he had a fucking, just, he just lifted it up with both of his hands really easily and he just squirmed out of there. But anyways, guys, this is actually one of my funnier stories, so I appreciate if you guys leave a like. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out.